Well, good morning and uh, thank you very much for joining us. Welcome back from the uh, holidays. Uh, it was work to some because those marvelous displays that were that was put up at Eagle Square, you saw the whole parade of uh, a bit of the strength of Nigeria. Marvelous, wonderful pictures. Uh, but we're all back at work, uh, hopefully. Um, it's like, you know, yesterday was Monday, and so today is Tuesday, but I imagine to a lot of people it'll be feeling like a Monday because it was an extended uh, weekend. And it was a weekend uh, whereas nothing could stop the 50th birthday, birthday uh, anniversary, uh, it also had a different significance because we stayed there yesterday. It was about the primaries, uh, especially in Lagos State, and um, some of the issues that came from, you know, things that had happened the day before. But today we'll go back to the primaries, not zeroing in on any particular state, primaries in Nigeria, those that have been done, uh, and as we speak, by the way, the APC primary is said to be, is said to be you know, ongoing. That is to say, uh, it, it's, 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 it's in progress. The, the whole process has started. Um, if anything happens you know, that is noteworthy, we'll break into the program to show it to you naturally. Um, but we have seen the early beginning. So it looks like it's going to hold today. There was speculation that it might not hold uh, because it has been postponed twice. And so if it's been done twice, it could possibly be done a third time. But it does look as if it's going to be uh, the event today. Um, there are, as I said, we're not looking at APC primaries in Lagos per se, but again, we're not excluding it. We're looking at primaries that have passed, that, that have gone past, the one that is happening now, if there's any other one that is happening now, ones that are coming up in the future, and just evaluating the process. Um, there's a sense in which if you've been following it, uh, if what you've heard is not too young to run, uh, that's on the national scheme, uh, you probably might have also thought of twisting that statement a bit uh, to not too old to run. That did indeed play itself in at least one particular case. But I rattle on. Let me quickly bring in our guests, Majid Jamio, Executive Editor, Upshot Media. Uh, good morning and thank you very much for coming on as always. Good morning, Yori. And I'm not going to say any more, but you're looking at me, corner eye, as yeah. uh, Achebe said in one of his expressions. <laughs> <laughs> as if I say, I'm going to add anything. I'm not going to add anything. I, I, I know for the purpose of the sitting we are having today, you will limit it to executive editor of short media. Okay. Yeah. Uh, except to say that also uh, an expert uh, political observer and commentator. Let me just add it like that and leave it. <laughs> Thank you very much for coming on. <laughs> uh, Oyaka Chiu Bani. Uh, our, uh, our legal friend, when even those of us that are not uh, entitled to say so, uh, the, you, you, you often hear uh, my, my, my legal brother. And you're not, you're not a lawyer, you also hear my legal friend. And you're not a lawyer, so, but he probably, as a people's lawyer, uh, former second national vice president of the NBA, uh, thank you very much for coming on as well. Thank you, Chief Yuri. Good morning. But you know it is Yuri. You can't hide Chief okay. from me. <laughs> thank you very much. So, um, let me start with you if I uh, could, um, uh, Monday. So, looking, given, getting, taking an overview of the primaries, because mm. we seem to be in that season now, uh, as I said, past, present, and in the immediate future. Uh, what, what sticks out to you mm. in terms of... Uh, this is noteworthy. Well, uh, the primaries uh, is clearly a, play, a prelude uh, to the general election. Uh, without the primaries, you cannot produce the gubernatorial candidates or the National Assembly uh, candidates you know, that will actually contest for election in 2019. And so all the political parties are engaged in it, uh, in some areas peaceful, in some areas very turbulent. Uh, in fact, in some states, we have parallel uh, gubernatorial candidates. I, I note specifically that of Delta. Uh, presently, there is Pato Tommy and then there is Great Uburu, who are all claiming to be the gubernatorial candidate of APC. Now, I also note the one in Plateau, where a 75-year-old uh, Jeremiah Useni, a retired general, is a gubernatorial candidate. That is also uh, worthy of note. Mm -hmm. uh, he's been in he's been in government government both in military and and, and forever. Uh, and then he's coming back as a, a gubernatorial candidate, and that uh, PDP allow him to be their candidate, and equally but, emerge. But, but, uh, but, but so, so, sorry, sir. Mm -hmm. Just on a slight aside. Yes. Uh, isn't it sort of um, um, noteworthy, mm -hmm. even even a bit? Uh, look, it. it 
in other clients, we see a person who has been a prime minister, for example, yes. uh, subsequently, after serving, becoming mm. a member of the House, mm. you know, of, 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 mm. of uh, the House of Parliament. Mm. And just going back to that, but in our society here, it, it, the thing seems to be forward ever, backward never, backward, right? Backward never, yeah. It, so, that's, so, that's what our problem well, is. The point is that it's a, it's a, it's a topic for another day, another day <laughs> yeah. but for now, we are reviewing those primaries. Now, in PDP, uh, virtually all the state governors yep. uh, have been actually given the ticket uh, for second tenure. Uh, okay, Zip Bazu in Abia, Dan Omahi, uh, Mr. Omahi, Devu Omahi in uh, Boeing State, uh, Buruburu in, uh, in Enugu. Almost mm. all of them have been actually given the, the meal ticket you know, for, for, uh, this, for second tenure. For second term. Now, I just came back from which, which Abia. Which seems to be the norm in Nigeria. Yeah, which, which seems to be the norm, uh, but it's not the norm in Lagos. So, uh, I just came back from Abia. I went for the primaries and I have discovered also that APC is here to put their house in order. But I believe that today they will, uh, because somebody else has announced himself as a gubernatorial candidate, one MNK. <laughs> announced <laughs> so, himself. Uh, yes, when you, you, and, you choose your worst yes, announced himself. Announced himself. Uh, yeah, because that is actually not the uh, executive. Uh, it was not conducted by the executive, recognized by the national APC, you know, but the real one recognized by the APC uh, generally is taking place today. Mm -hmm. uh, hopefully by evening we should be able to know the result from my state, mm -hmm. God's own state, Abia State. As I said earlier, I was at home since Thursday, hoping that the election would take place on Sunday. It was postponed to Monday. Monday again came, now Tuesday. And so I couldn't wait any longer. So something will come out of it today. So generally, as I said earlier, it's been peaceful in some areas. In some areas, it's not been peaceful. Uh, you know, parallel uh, elections here and there. Uh, but I know that before October ending, they should all put their house in order. Yeah, I think because there is a deadline actually mm. for submission of mm. uh, uh, gubernatorial candidates mm. to INEC. Mm. Mm. So if they have not put their house in order, they will be in problem. But I also see that some legal suits will also, uh, you know, accrue even from these primaries. You know, if they don't conduct them in accordance with the laid down rules and regulation. Some people already compiling, you know, uh, their, their lawyers are hanging around, <laughs> taking note of what is going on, uh, probably for a legal suit. Mm -hmm. Indeed. Thank yeah. you, uh, mm -hmm. Mandy, and uh, we'll come back to it. Majid, um, as we talk, two things that just jumped out, and there are many, many more. Uh, first of all, there's the issue of the not too young, to, not too old to run, uh, you know, parodying the well-known not too young to run, run phrase. Yeah. Um, but he also said, uh, of all the primaries and where they're going on, none has been as dramatic as the one in Lagos. We have no intention to dwell on the Lagos matter, but just to note that it's been quite a dramatic saga. Um, then you might also look at the issue of the 75-year-old, uh, who that's another dramatic uh, aspect. Mm -hmm. uh, but by and large, as, as uh, Monday said, it's, it's been peaceful. Uh, there have been echoes of threats of possible violence, but again, this has been denied, but they came up. Give me your overview of <coughs> the primaries generally. Yeah, um, it's been quite uh, interesting, uh, and like we said uh, off here before we started, um, nobody is even thinking about um, the independence. Uh, <laughs> and, and in, in, in Lagos. <laughs> <laughs> anniversary. No, mm. not even in Lagos, it's mm. all over. <laughs> it's all mm. over the country. <laughs> okay. uh, to the extent that even the Senate president and the Speaker of the House of Reps had to stay in their uh, domains. I mean, I mean uh, the, the, the normal uh, independence uh, parade where the numbers one, two, three, four will be found. Will, will normally. Be found, yeah. And they explained it that yes, they need to see to the uh, peaceful conduct of the primaries uh, are in their various states. And like, and, and like that takes me to Kwara, where um, uh, Razak Atunwa emerged as the candidate of uh, the uh, uh, PDP, where the likes of um, uh, Bolaji Abdullah, who was touted as um, Saraki's uh, uh, candidate, I mean, um, had to withdraw, and some others. Atunwa defeated, Atunwa was a former speaker, he defeated uh, Shaba Lafiaji to emerge as a PDP candidate, but it's not all that rosy in the APC in Kwara, mm. as um, <clears throat> it's, uh, been post it's been postponed, and I think it's, hold it's going to hold on uh, uh, Thursday. Um, uh, 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 and the main major contenders there, um, I think uh, the, um, uh, Belgore and um, uh, I think uh, one Mohammed, uh, that they're the major contenders. But then, I recall that on on, on Sunday, one, a group was, uh, they, they were smart enough uh, to 
conducts their own factional APC primary, but then the National Working Committee came with a sledgehammer mm. and actually expelled all of them from the party. Uh, so uh, Quara is going to be interesting for the APC. The same way, uh, like uh, Barista said, Delta is also very interesting, where we have two candidates, quote and unquote, for the APC now, uh, uh, Pat Tutumi. And as a matter of fact, uh, in a tweet by Pat Tutumi earlier yesterday, he said he, he just had results. <laughs> that, um, <laughs> he was looking for the venue. <laughs> he was, was looking for the venue <laughs> of the uh, primary. But then, <laughs> so all such mischief, misinformation, <laughs> fake news. <laughs> but it uh, was, people have to be wary. No, Tommy was quick uh, to recover because shortly after that, he also emerged <laughs> as a candidate. So we have Pat Tommy and the Great Oboro as uh, the APC flag bearers yes. uh, uh, to face uh, the incumbent um, uh, uh, Okoa. So it's going to be interesting, especially given the fact that um, the former governor. Um, of uh, the immediate uh, past governor of uh, Delta, as uh, 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 it's now in APC, the, 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 med the medical doctor, I can't recall his name now. And uh, to think that Ibori is sitting on the fence. So a, a lot of things uh, is expected to play out in um, uh, 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 Delta, especially if you understand the politics of Delta, say, we are, uh, wherever James Ibori goes the the Ogidibori body himself. That's 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 where the pendulum might swing. So uh, I think um, uh, we, we we leave we, we leave that. And now I move to Adamawa, where um, Nuribadu and uh, and one funny thing that we need to understand: Nuribadu uh, is the son of uh, Mohammed Ribadu, uh, the the, um, the the former uh, Minister of Defence, and uh, Nuribadu is um, <coughs> Aisha Buhari's younger brother is uh, a, grand, I mean, a grandson of Mohammed Rebadu. And that's the father of Anu Rebadu. So there are two of them in the race. But then, uh, as, a, as a result of the fact that uh, Aisha Buhari's younger brother, uh, Dr. Mahmoud Haliru, is in the race, they had to shift the primaries. And now uh, they are trying to uh, envisage a situation where if, even if he loses, he has a Senate seat waiting for him. So they are trying to persuade those who are running for Senate in his constituency to step down so that when the um, primary is eventually uh, conducted and in case he fails to get the uh, uh, governorship ticket, he's going to bag the, um, uh, the Senate. Mm. That's what is playing out in Nadamawa today. But uh, uh, win or lose, the the, uh, the Badu family, uh, the Haliru family, I mean, has something to hold on to. So, but coming down to Lagos, uh, we are going to be expecting results. Okay, uh, and by the way, Lagos, you know, uh, it goes without saying, it's, it's well known now. Uh, when, you know, Mandy was speaking, he was talking, uh, you know, people, governorship, uh, governorship candidates that have been given a second term. Yeah. Uh, which has come to be the convention, if not the rule, yeah. uh, Lagos is the exception. For the first time uh, in recent memory, it's not an automatic ticket. Well, but I, I think uh, we should also uh, take into uh, cognizance the fact that it's at, at this dispensation, it's not only in Lagos that that is happening. Uh, Aminu Bilo Masari is from mm. Kasina, the, the state of the president, he just won, um, uh, two indirect primaries yesterday, and uh, Eldo File too uh, from uh, nearby Kaduna um, also won. Uh, he didn't. It was not returned on a post, so okay. I, okay. I think we should. Okay. Um, so uh, to put it in perspective. Yes, in perspective. It's, it's so, not as if. Yeah. So yeah, what you're saying is that, uh, well, uh, strictly speaking, Lagos cannot be seen to be exceptional in that regard. That, that that's, that's the whole point. That that is it. Yeah. So. Uh, but uh, let, let, let I me can see. move over to. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, you why were you choking? <laughs> why wouldn't I choke? Oh, yeah. Why, uh, why, why wouldn't I? Would I because, do that? Uh, what yeah? do you want to fault about that why statement? Wouldn't, why wouldn't I? Strictly I, I, speaking. Yeah, strictly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lagos cannot be seen to but be exceptional. But there are statements of fact are just yeah, made. Yeah, he uh, just, uh, just made a statement of fact yes. which you can, you can, there is a, a, you know, you can find a loophole into it. In that particular state, you have not told us whether stakeholders call the Masari of a man and say, look, we are asking you to step down. Nobody did that. 
uh, uh, so that's the difference. I, said, I don't want to dwell <laughs> that, that, on Lagos. I know you would. Like, you've just given I, me I, something I, I, I to, 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 to go further with, but I don't would, want to go there because I I, I need let's to go there. Let's so concentrate. Let, let's concentrate on mm. the general. Okay, yeah. let me quickly bring it. Uh, thank you for where you got to, but let me also you know, add a bit of impetus to the whole matter. But this whole quest for internal democracy, internal party democracy. How well do you think that concept is faring in, in, in this sequence that we're talking about? In, internal democracy, when I hear that catchphrase, I, I laugh. Um, internal democracy, it depends on from which um, uh, side of the divide we are looking at it. Uh, in some instances, you have internal democracy in the real, in the real sense of it. And while in other times, you see internal democracy as being foisted on, on the people. Take for instance, um, in, a, in a state like uh, Ekiti State, mm -hmm. the, in, under, the, under the PDP, internal democracy is what uh, the outgoing governor feels is internal to him, is, is what pays him. In some other climes, internal dem like like we are having a situation in Ogun State now where uh, Amosu is not finding it funny. It's trying to throw it open, but then even while trying to throw it open, it's been moderated. So it depends on which uh, side of to the to, 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 to the extent that. Um, uh, or it, well, it, maybe I, I, do you would you agree, or you can see that mm. it, it depends on who is evaluating. Mm. Uh, the, 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 the bottom line as to how far is internal democracy faring? For, uh, sorry, for, for an, for an incumbent yes. who so, is being allowed to go and do um, uh, 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 primaries, he won't see it as internal democracy. He will see it as an affront, especially okay. in a place like Lagos. Mm. No, I, to me, there are some basic concepts, you know, that are universal. And, and if they've been applied, and everyone who is very unbiased or you know, objectively assess it will say, look, this is what is supposed to be. When something is, you know, that is internal democracy, everyone will know. Uh, and what are those basic uh, ingredients of internal democracy is that everyone must be given what you call a level playing field. Uh, 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 just to say that if you're hearing some leaking sound mm -hmm. just filtering into what we're talking about, yes. it's because, I beg your pardon for you, you see that leakage you hear, mm -hmm. it's because our man Ayo Zumbaku is standing by at the venue of the Lagos primaries. I don't know why the sound was filtering in first, but there you go, that's it. This, you've been hearing that for the past uh, 60 seconds or so. Ayo, good morning. We, it's like we've been, di we've been dying to get to you. Uh, uh, wh wh where are you exactly? Jory, this is Makimbe Street in Alausa, and this is Watsi. And talking about Watsi, we have Alausa, Oregun, and Olushosun. And um, this is a watch. The election, the election is, uh, will be taking place in 245 wards across 20 local governments. This is just a watch. This is um, near Oluwalubon Motors, opposite Oluwalubon Motors, up, um, close to testing ground. And um, you have uh, people from Alausa, people from Oregon and people from Olushosun here. What is happening is the process of accreditation is on now and you can see all the members with their with their slip. This this is what they are holding one by one and some of them with their this the permanent card and some of them are carrying the slip. So according to the National Working Committee if you don't have the permanent card you can make use of the slip the slip which indicates 2014, as in you might have been a party member since 2014 for you to use that particular slip. So the accreditation process, it's an open system. There, we don't have ballot papers deployed for this thing. So the officials are here already, so they are counting one by one. So if you are Ambode, you are going to be in a place. If you are Jide Sonwolu, you are going to be in another place. But this is what C, and this is the word of the national leader of the All Progressive Congress, that is Ashwaju Bola Ahmed Tinobu. And one thing that is very, very interesting here, the level of political awareness is what, you know, everybody seems to be a card carrying member in this area. And the level of awareness, the level of political participation, it's something that is commendable. And I tell you, ahead of 2019 election, 
it's going to be really, really, that election will be keenly contested because this is a working day and you have market women, you have working class here parking their vehicles and they're all around. And as you can see, the, the queue, the queue is what is interesting. They don't mind the, uh, they don't mind the sun and they are in this long queue all waiting to be counted one by one and if they count them one, two, two, uh, anything they count they will record it and for the other aspirant too the same thing but basically we have two major aspirants here so what what i'm seeing here is that this because of this is allows her very close understandably predominantly what we are having here i think i have one of the officials people do you have two lines here since we have two aspirants we have one line one line what's your name sir may your ally no kikyo poshu why do you have one line because we can't have two lines because okay. we are one here but after accreditation the voting starts okay this is accreditation this now is accreditation now so how do you intend to do it people from after, Songoli, after, after, people from akio yeah, after accreditation people will now queue for okay akio miambode and then Songolu. They will now start counting. Oh, oh. That's so for now, for now, this is accreditation. Everybody, yes. So everybody in one line. Everybody in one line. And you'll be counted I'll be, and I'll be counted according to whom you want to take vote for vote for. Either Kim or uh Sawolu, Sawolu. Okay. Okay. I, I think you're in, that's like a kind of insight to what is happening here. And um by twelve o'clock hopefully. By twelve hopefully by twelve hopefully will be the voting proper will start so you can see the crowd you can see the people and um, it is very very interesting the level of awareness and the eagerness at which people you know are you know paying attention to this exercise and almost everybody is you know i thought the predominant number of people will not have this catch but from what i'm seeing in this world and i told you that this world consists of allows her Thank you. Thank, th thank you very much, Ayo. Thank you very much, Ayo. Thank you very much. That's so inclusive. I don't need to add anything. Uh, Mayor that uh, Ayo spoke with, uh, he clarified yeah. a question that I had. Maybe we all had in our minds, yeah. you yeah. know. And also, it, it clears up one aspect of uh, this reminds me of uh, Governor Ambode's uh, World Press Conference, where he had displayed a slip and you know, deduce from that that he would not be able to vote. Mm. That has been fixed. Mm. Now you can vote if you have a slip That's right. or if you have the actual uh, yeah. I, party ID yeah. card That's itself. Right. That's right. Um, well, interesting, as I said, we're looking at it, but we, we do have our cameras uh, standing by that. And by the way, uh, I was pointing out that um, it was Ashwa Jibola Ahmed Tinubu's ward. And uh, that, if you remember in his statement, he had said that he will indeed be voting. Mm. Whether all of this is significant or not, oh, no, let's no. talk about it. Yeah, um, I think on, Thurs on Thursday or Friday, if I could recall, the presidential primaries uh, held uh, for APC all over the country. And uh, we had um, reports that um, in uh, Kano State, the uh, president and also the APC uh, presidential uh, uh, I mean, aspirant now is, I mean, is, is still an aspirant, but is still an aspirant until um, uh, he emerges as, as uh, the uh, flag bearer, polled 2.9 million volt, votes in um, Kano, while in Lagos, he polled 1.9 million votes, which means Today we expect around 1.9 million votes. Around that, it could be more, it could be less, but we are looking at about 1.9 million to be shared between the two major contenders. So as it pans out, uh, uh, as from 12 o'clock, I think we'll start uh, uh, getting defeats. And from what Ayo and the, um, the, uh, uh, the coordinator, not Aokiki, Okikolu said uh, it's going to be open um, uh, the option A for uh, the option A for system where the um, voters will queue behind the posters and agents mm. of the two major contenders. Indeed. 
uh, 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 and uh, which immediately uh, puts in perspective if any, if any pictures are floating around of uh, actually line lines in for in front of one aspirant or the other they can't be taken seriously in the light of our reporting that there's only one line for now it's all about accreditation, accreditation. we haven't even come to there so the whatever pictures are showing around yeah. cannot be relied on I thank agree. god for live tv yeah. Yeah. you know per second per it's second religion. because that, that could actually be from yesterday because okay the primaries actually held in four local governments yesterday but the national working council mm -hmm. overruled them okay, because they said they didn't get the information about the postp postponement i see on time so okay. i think yaba ojokoro and the two other local governments okay. a motion mm. held primaries yesterday four local governments but then that has been cancelled mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. I so it might be that pictures came from came some from, of those venues from do, some of those venues. people who might have seen those pictures on social media and begin yeah. to feel agitated or elated yeah. can voting, now have it actual in voting will not start until, until 12 o'clock that, that's what the and we can says. see that as of this second uh, well we were, we were with Ayo Fed, uh, maybe two minutes ago yeah. as of right now they they haven't even accredited yet yeah. Yeah, uh, so there's only one 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 oh, massive right. line yeah. that Ayo said blew his mind mm. after all of that mm. then we'll now see those lines that we're all looking uh, that people might be looking for. So it's an open system. That's another yeah, thing. Yeah. You can't no no secret open, ballot. Open ballot. Uh, yes. open, open, open ballot. Yeah. You this know. is where, you know, yeah, somebody's popularity actually can be tested. And some of us have been insisting that if we really want credible election in this country, that the best method of election is this one that is open. You know, the we call it opudential. Mm -hmm. You know, where <laughs> where everyone will you know see who the result is uh, with your eyes yes yeah. yes now we are in now in the new age of uh, technology uh, <laughs> these things can be captured nobody yeah. will actually you know begin to show a different result entirely this secret ballot system has actually put us into a lot of wahala let me know, quickly bring in uh, yeah. adi uh, calling in from joburg okay. sorry for interrupting you okay. good morning adi good morning Uncle Yori. thank you for calling in sir and thank you for the program sure. good morning uncle madrid and barita Ugali. How are good you, morning sir? morning Yes, uh, thank you very much, Uncle Monty, for throwing light to the, the, the different states of Nigeria regarding the gubernatorial Akira. But please, we want, I, need to, I want to know the, what situation in Akwa Ibo and Shokoto State. Because as I read on the social media that uh, uh, the government of Shokoto lost the PDP candidate, I'm not sure whether it's that true or not. But please, we would like to know. What is the situation in Chokoto and what, who is the candidate of, uh, of EPC in Upper Ibom? Thank you very much. Uh, okay, Adi, uh, thank you very much. Just, please, please hold your peace because I interrupted. Uh, yes. Uh, 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 yes. Uh, you know, you asked me a question about this issue of internal democracy, and I tell you, mm. I was trying to explain that internal democracy has some basic uh, you know, concepts. And, and precepts, and if they are missing at any point in time, you know there is no internal democracy. One of them is this issue of this open open ballot system now that APC want to use in Lagos State. If this is replicated in all over the world, in all the you know uh, polling booths, where people will now queue behind their candidate, to me, that that to me is really internal democracy. I mean, you know, you know, evidential people are saying it is evidential. The only thing that I'm against, which I told you earlier on, was this issue of probably asking any candidate to step aside you know, before now. If they have allowed, allowed this thing to play out and all that, people will make their choice. Mm. Who is popular mm. as a candidate of mm. that political party? Mm. You know, but that has been sorted out now, an election, we are going for primary election. Let everyone go and contest. And let the political party members choose who is going to be their flag bearer. Indeed. You know, so, and that is what is going on. So I really want a situation where people will be given this level playing uh, uh, ground. Kind of yeah, which Lagos. is what I'm seeing here. And I think that, 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 that should also be, be replicated in Abbey. I hope so. Yeah. You know, one thing I didn't know about this is that most of the rules of the game was not explained to party members. You know, now we are beginning to learn that, oh, Accreditation will take place till 12 noon mm -hmm. and then election mm -hmm. proper. Nobody knew all this. Even yeah, in Ab yeah. I was in Abia from Thursday. Who is coming? The committee main chairman were nowhere to be, our committee members were nowhere to be seen. What is the rule they will ad adopt? I don't even know the, whether they will adopt this open, mm -hmm. you know, ballot system that Lagos is using. Mm -hmm. So APC would have from national. Mm -hmm. 
clearly spell these things out. Policy. A week. Uniform. Beautiful. Everywhere. That is total confusion everywhere. Okay. You know, if a party member, you run into confusion. Oh, yeah, exactly. You know, that, I'm not a party member, but I see confusion everywhere, you know. <laughs> okay. Mm. Uh, uh, Majid, you know, are they calling in? Do, 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 would you like to take a stab at Sokoto and Akwaibo? That he yes, if he has, uh, if he has information. Yes, I, I, don't, I, don't, have I don't have information, information on uh, Sokoto, but Akwaibo, Udom Emmanuel has been uh, returned. He's, he's That's been PDP. The, for mm. PDP has mm. been given mm. tickets. Mm. But Akwaibo, I'm yet to have the details, but I heard of uh, Ekere. Uh, who is, um, I, I can't confirm and that. And that is the candidate of all the stakeholders. That is it. Including I, uh, our man, Akwabio, uh, and, and all of them and I, all that. So I, I wonder I, if any other person can yes, imagine there. Is a Kerry? Yes, is a Kerry. That's former uh, deputy I, I, to Akwabio. I can't confirm mm. yet. Yeah, but mm. they said he was leading as at last night, but mm. I, I'm yet to see the uh, figures. Okay. But Udom Emmanuel, but for Shokotu, I can't, I don't have uh, information. information on PDP. Okay. But then I know... Uh, the PDP ticket in uh, what I can say is the PDP ticket in Chokoto is being held uh, for um, Tambual in case he loses out in the presidential election. Yeah. Yakub, thank you for holding on. Good morning. Yeah, it's very good morning, sir. Thank and, uh, you. Good morning, Mr. Majid and then Mr. Saldani. Good morning, good morning my brother. I, yes, I think uh, for me, all the results that have been coming out uh, in, uh, from serious states in this country since today is quite interesting because I heard uh, that 75 years old uh, man is going to be contested as a governor of one of the states. It's Plato states. It, it's in, Plato. If I, have, if I have my way, I, I think I love what uh, Barstow Bani said earlier. What is going on in Lagos today is the best thing that has ever happened to any political party that adopt any mode of primary. You can see Ayo is there giving us the report. And, and then I know some of your reporters is from area in Lagos as well. They will be giving us reports as the thing is going. The only thing is that they should let it be free and fair and then open to everybody, including the, the people that are going to participate in the, in the primary, in the person of the uh, governor of Lagos State, and then uh, someone who is the person. Uh, how, how, how do you mean, uh, Yakub? how do you mean? I thought that's a, that's a given. Uh, if you're referring to the slip versus the proper card, that has been resolved. Now the leadership of the party has said that you can vote with a slip or a card. See, Hijori, I, I, I had what you said clear. But what I'm saying in essence is that now that they are going to direct primary, what I'm saying is that it is good for the state as they are. In fact, it is even good for the citizen of the state and then the residents of the state to know who is going to, who is going to carry the flag bearer of the party. If this, uh, if this station is going on smoothly now, there is no out of the both of them that will come out tomorrow that will say this is the fraud, this is this. What I want to advise both of them is that whatever happens at the end of the day, they should support each other in order to achieve one goal. Okay. Uh, okay, thank you very much for calling in, Yaku. Appreciate your call. Um, I, I don't know, he, mm -hmm. he seems to be worried. Uh, my, my thighs, no, no, I, what, what he was trying it. to emphasize, sir, he yeah. was, you know, he's not worried. He's not even talking about uh, the sleep uh, issue well, or whether that, Ambode will not be given fair or whether no, no, Sayolu. No, no, he said yeah. everybody should be allowed to vote, including including the aspirant themselves. Which is his And to, Ambode has highlighted uh, that yeah, that he by has showing been, that he was being prevented from being. But the national for. has said now with that sleep, exactly. you can participate. Exactly. Uh, That's the point I want that to was not about. clear in Abia. In Abia, what they said that they want to use 2014 register. In other words, those who joined after 2014 will not be eligible and all that. But now the National has actually resolved this issue. I hope that is communicated again. We had this issue of communication. Okay. Communication is key. Mm -hmm. If this things have been spelled out that including those with sleep who came in after 2014, they are all going to participate. There won't be any issue in some of the states and all that. So communication, APC has to improve upon it. It's okay. very important. Well, yeah. mm -hmm. Majid? Yes, I, I think we should also let our viewers know that uh, the difference between... Um, the direct primaries and indirect primaries uh, is the fact that for the direct primaries, for example, in Lagos, we have about 1.9 million people that will be electing the candidates of the APC. That is, As opposed, that is membership, if membership, everybody shows membership, up. Membership, yeah. If that's, everybody shows up. Yes, that's why I said about, mm. yeah. about 1.9 million. Now, for indirect primaries, we have delegates, and those delegates are national officials of the party that are Lagosians, um, uh, serving commissioners uh, up to the world level. Right. Mm -hmm. They 
principal officers, mm -hmm. and it's limited to a maximum of 4,000. Mm -hmm. So in this situation, instead of 4,000 delegates becoming multi-millionaires overnight, mm -hmm. it's been thrown open to 1.9 million people to decide, which means uh, for money bags who feels they can actually pocket some delegates. We had the case in Oshun where yes. some aspirants actually promised delegates up to 750,000 naira each. Mm -hmm. But in Lagos, where do you want to start? Mm. 1.9 million people. Mm. Even at 10,000 10, naira per person, we are talking of billions. Mm. So it's, it, it makes it more uh, internal, more, I mean, more open. And uh, like uh, Yakub said, from what we have seen uh, from the clips uh, from Ayo, I think it's transparent and uh, we hope that by, because normally I don't have any problems between 8 and 12. Where I have problems is from 12 o'clock when voting starts and people start seeing results. Mm. So if the, if the APC can manage that mm -hmm. up to, because all these results after the world level will be taken to ACME mm -hmm. for coalition. Mm -hmm. So the uh, Lagos State Headquarters. The, that's the Lagos State Headquarters of the, of the of APC. APC. So that's where we actually need to uh, monitor. And I want to thank you very much for holding on, Lawrence. Lawrence in Ogun State. Good morning, sir. Yeah, good morning. Please, How are you, Mr. Yori? Please continue. Very well, thank you. Thank you for calling in. Yeah, Go I ahead, greet, please. I greet your two guests, uh, Mr. Mwendi Mbani and uh, Mr. Majid. Yeah. Go on, please. Uh, thank you. Uh, 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 I think we, we need to, to, to affirm something if really we want to run democracy in Nigeria and party democracy. On one breath, we talk about true federalism. In another breath, we want uniformity across Nigeria. If some states choose, in the primary, on other states choose the red primary peculiar to the entities. I think there is no problem. But never again that a party will produce a candidate that does not even know the party manifesto. If you want to be a candidate of any party, you must understand the philosophy, the ideology of the party. Not about somebody come, you give him the opportunity to serve, at the end of the day, get to that position, he neglects all the manifesto of the party. So those areas, we need to understand it. If we really want to run party democracy, not individualism, it is about political party, and the party must have ideology, their manifesto, on every standard of economy. That is my contribution. Thank yeah, you. yeah, but Lawrence, yeah. Uh, yeah, what we were talking about was internal democracy within the parties, an assessment so far. What would your assessment be of the level of internal democracy in the contesting competing parties? Yeah, internal democracy is good. I support it. Anybody that wants to emerge must emerge from all the members of the political party. So by the time the person emerge, all the members, the, the, the person will be accepted by all members and they were able to go out there to go and convert votes for right. him all based right. on the party manifesto of your great party. Okay, thank you very much. I, I, I think I understand where you're going, speaking in parables, but what I was actually looking for was your personal assessment uh, as to the level of internal democracy across the board. Uh, but I get you, and many, many listeners, many, many Lagosians will also understand uh, the points you seem to be making about thoroughly knowing the manifesto of your party, but uh, we'll leave it at that. Thank you very much uh, for, for calling in. Um, but but it's, it's just as well that Ayo did us that particular clip, that we had that particular clip, uh, which explains, as Monday is saying, not everybody is un understands. People might even, we were even saying that voting appears to be underway. Even mm -hmm. Ayo was surprised mm -hmm. when that gentleman, Mayor, mm -hmm. yeah. now clarified yeah, that, that, yeah. that this is not voting. Yeah. Why you cannot see the end of this line mm -hmm. is, is that uh, everybody, everybody is, is entitled to here. Yeah. It is just the one. The two, the, the two lines, since there are only two yeah. uh, candidates here, yeah. uh, that will be after noon, yeah. after yeah. 12, when that section will start. Yeah. And as I said, I think it bears repeating, if anybody has seen any pictures purporting mm. to indicate what is happening today, it, it can't be a real picture. Sure. Uh, and Majid has suggested that those pictures might have come from some previous events. Exactly. So yeah. no picture has emerged today. And if any is on social media, understand it in this context. Yeah. False fake news is what it is. <laughs> <laughs> fake news, and we have to be very, very uh, mindful. Um, mm -hmm. It's interesting. I, the last caller, yeah, Lawrence. We, I think we are we're knowledgeable enough to know 
where he is leaning. And we don't want to particularize. We, no. we want to keep it open here. Uh, Monday chuckled mm. uh, at the whole notion mm -hmm. of uh, internal party democracy, mm. which commentators, people like Monday himself, people like Majid have all commented on in the past. Um, it's, 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 a, it's a tough one. It, it's, it's a real tough one because uh, the convention used to be that barring any seismic event, you'd get another term. Mm -hmm. and, uh, but Majid pointed out that it's not uniform. Mm -hmm. There are at least three states where that hasn't uh, obtained. It's, it's important for, 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 for our aspirations politically, right? All these things that we're trying to resolve. I just wonder the extent to which we have been able to do so or if we're just still managing. I was looking for an assessment and that, uh, that gentleman, Lawrence, didn't give me an assessment and that's what you guys are doing. Mm -hmm. An assessment also how well this whole process is going. You know, Lagos State is a very unique state. Uh, sometimes what emerges here at times are things that become, you know, precedent. Okay. It's important we learn about this unique state in all ramification. It's a state that, you know, we stood federal government when it comes to issue of money, mm -hmm. you know, and then look towards internally generated revenue today. Lagos yeah. is leading other states, mm -hmm. you know, in that regard. Mm -hmm. So there are many things about this Lagos, you know, even the issue of infrastructural yeah. development, yeah. you know, the, yeah. the first governor in the person of uh, Bola Tunubu himself laid a standard and, and then, you know, developed a, a you know, a, a criteria, mm. uh, which almost every other governor is following. Today, Lagos is making tremendous progress. And, now, the, Lagos, point, sorry, yes. sir, and the point has been made that this didn't mm. just happen mm. out of happenstance. No, it, it, this was planned. planned. Yeah, planned. This was worked mm. on. Yeah, if you fail to Some plan. people mm. the, 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 ma the master plan. Yeah, master plan. Yeah. The, so the blueprint, mm. the, the master plan, yeah, the Lagos, which by the way, you've heard commentators saying that, where is this blueprint, blueprint. Mm. Where is it? Yeah. Nobody <laughs> has seen it. Yeah, yeah. You know. but it's working. Now, oh, oh we, it's working. It's working, yeah. <laughs> we've seen now, for the first time in Nigerian political history, where a governor, you know, that ordinarily by convention should be entitled to second tenure, he's been told now that, look, it is no longer going to be automatic, you know, so maybe after the entire process, you know, has ended today, it becomes a precedent. That for the fact that you have become a governor, or maybe there's some level of performance in your addition does not even guarantee your automatic second tenure that there are other issues you now have to bring into consideration. So we are learning. It's, yes, a, political, learning. it's a political we're, process. We're and learning. as I said earlier, Lagos always laid this example that becomes like a precedent. It hasn't and, been, the, mm. this, this particular aspect hasn't mm. ever been deployed before. It has but not. it's mm. inherent mm. in the Constitution. Mm. Yeah, it it's is. just that until well, now, until now nobody has said, yeah, yeah. Now it has been deployed. Yeah, it has been a convention. Automatically, you become a governor, second tenure, yeah. because you are there first. You know, no, and all no, that. Somebody's saying it's not the rule. You know, uh, well, uh, Reverend Dominic, thank you for holding on in Ali Moshe. Good morning, sir. Good morning, your name, please. I can't hear you well. Let me go. I can't hear you well. Let oh. me go on. Okay, we can hear How you, are Dominic. You, Barista? How are you, Moshe? Yeah, morning, morning Dominic, uh, Reverend. Uh, your name, please, can I comment on your yesterday's program? I tried to get to you. I can't get to you. Can I? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, yesterday's was particular about Lagos State, and this yes. morning we sort of widened it to across the board. Because I'm in Lagos and, and I can't give account of across the board, I want to give account of Lagos. Oh, <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead then. Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead, Dominic. Okay. Your, honestly, every consigned Lagosian who says he's not worried is not telling truth to himself. What is happening in Lagos today, and most of us, yes, most of us who are not current car members of APC, but we have feelings and emotions for APC and how APC we do. What happened in the kitchen? I'm not sure. So to teach every APC member a good lesson mm. that the, it's not more business as usual. Okay. Do Dominic, Dominic, I, Dominic, I, I, wonder, I wonder if I could request you to just leave it there in terms of commentary uh, on our program yesterday because we wouldn't do that kind of a program, for example, today when the vote is actually on. Uh, so if, if, if you are agreeable, I'd want you to limit your comments to where you got to, and then possibly, you know, comment on the rest. Okay, thank you. I understand. I could understand. Next, let me comment. Let me comment on this. Thank you. Can I go on? Let me comment on today. Please go on. Okay, today 
What Oyekachi and Moji is talking about internal democracy, it depends on where you are shoe, where you put on your own shoe. If the internal democracy is indirect, indirect primary, if it suits you, it's a democracy. <laughs> if it don't suit you, it's not democracy. What I mean, as possible, we must think a system that everybody will believe in. As some states that believe that direct, you know, voting, we give them what they want, it's democracy. There's some states that don't believe that indirect we give them what they want, it's a direct democracy. What's that short democracy in Nigeria? Mm. You must define it. If it suits us, it's good. If it don't suit us, it's not good. That is not where a nation should be based on their emotions and their strength is. We must bring morality in politics and bring precedent that like our children can lay hold on. I can't commit any more than this. All right. I have, I have my fears in Lagos State. Good morning, my brother. Thank you very much, Reverend Dominic, for calling in. And really appreciate your cooperation and understanding that... Uh, because of the sensitive aspect to these things, we don't want to be competing beyond taking reports. Whatever is shown us, koro koro, we will see. It will not even be commented upon because <clears throat> that will be prejudging certain things. So, um, uh, well, but we did get, uh, when you look at it, if Dominic was relating to my question about his assessment of our internal democracy, I think we'll have to, you know, extrapolate from the much that, you know, I, I, I think what, what uh, Reverend Dominic is trying to say is the fact that um, each state su I mean, chooses uh, yes. whichever yes. Uh, suits them, but then it's within the ambits of the provisions as enshrined in the uh, manifesto of the APC. Mm -hmm. And even I think the two political parties, mm -hmm. the two major political parties, to have three options of choosing their candidates, direct, indirect, or consensus. Yes. So. But then, the national body of the APC, both the NEC and the NWC, prescribed direct primaries for all the states. Mm -hmm. But some of the governors came and said they prefer indirect mm -hmm. because of certain peculiarities. Now, in New York State, it was indirect primaries that produced by Adelabu. In Ogun, it's going to be indirect. So, in, and I think in Casina too, it was indirect primary because f governors are more comfortable with indirect primaries because <laughs> yeah, it yeah. gives them a, a stronghold. Mm. <laughs> they are run, most of them are running away from direct <laughs> primaries. But then I think I love the uh, the, 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 the the spirit of mm. Ambody. Mm -hmm. He said, "I'm okay with direct primaries, but I want it to be transparent." free and credible. And that's why he brought out his uh, 2014 slip that those who registered after 2014 should be, able to vote. should be able to vote, which the NWC actually cleared with him, the uh, Clement uh, Every led uh, 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 NWC that came to supervise the Lagos election. So, and I, I think I saw the uh, chairman of the Lagos APC displaying the um, Tunde Balogun. Yeah, Tunde Balogun displaying the party card, the marked 2018 of Ambode, where he actually said he's been trying to reach the governor but, for about 24 hours. But, okay. but I think all those ones all have been those things, as been uh, sorted. So, but I think, uh, again, uh, 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 yes, there's, there's a sly smile yes, from... Yes, I always try. He says, my, <laughs> yes. he said it always knows how to provoke that smile. <laughs> 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 okay, but, yes, but that's, that's, love, that's the lie of the ground right now. Where Ambode said he preferred uh, uh, you know, direct, if I were him, mm -hmm. as a governor, I would have preferred indirect. You know, actually, almost all the states where the governors are sitting governors, what they preferred was indirect, because that gives them a lot of yeah, leverage, 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 you know, yeah, but sort of. being a, a governor that, you know, has some level of hostility here and there, even, you know, and then he now said direct, good luck for him. Look, but if I were in his shoe, I would have preferred indirect. Now, let's concentrate on other parties. Yes. Now, it is important for us to announce on this national television that uh, fresh, Political party has produced their presidential candidate in the person of Chris, the Reverend Dr. Chris Okutie. <laughs> no who, surprises there. Yeah, no surprises, no surprises because, I mean, he's only candidate. And so we have already have a candidate from uh, uh, Fresh mm. who is already waiting to contest with mm. whoever is emerging from APC and other major political parties. Uh, by the way, interestingly, uh, there was a time when a Fresh, mm. uh, the, the, good, uh, the good Reverend uh, Okutie, yes. uh, had actually 
put out an invitation yes. to both of the parties. I think something about seeing a vision yes. from yeah, God. Yeah, that they should adopt it. Make up your mind. No, 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 no. Me. Yeah, that, that is, is God's yeah, word. I also saw yes. him yesterday on mm. television, see conversing, mm. that having emerged as the uh, sole candidate of Fresh, Fresh, that God has also, you know, decreed mm -hmm. that he should be adopted by the major <laughs> political party. As a candidate, as the only person to run an interim government, not a full fledged government, but an interim government, he's still prescribing interim I, government. I, I don't think God has decreed is the expression. Maybe, oh, okay. Maybe God has shown him. Okay, God has shown him. Okay. Yes. All right, but God okay. Has shown no, him. quoting him by his words, so God has spoken. Mm -hmm. there, there are other political parties also who have, uh, like uh, this uh, COA. Yeah. COA, their presidential candidate also emerged. You know, surprisingly, it's not the woman. It's not, it's not the woman. woman. You know, it is a rather fact going rule, one fact going rule. Yeah. You know, they, right. they, write, they wrote the exam. I don't know whether it was YX standard or JAM. <laughs> <laughs> they wrote the exam for the presidential uh, primaries. And, and he came and, first. And he came first. Mm. And they were very, um, you know, uh, truthful enough to, you know, announce the winner, you know, not the woman who ran last uh, four years, you know, I mean, three years ago. So I think the presidential candidates are emerging. And we must try as much as possible to give them some level of uh, publicity too. Oh, yes. They oh, deserve yes. it. it is their right. In fact, there are guidelines and yeah. there are rules okay, that fine. will guarantee uh -huh. them and, and their yes. space. We, we should also note yes. that uh, uh, Dr. Shegu Mimiko has emerged um, twice. As, now. Yes, as, as a labor. No, no, no. Okay. He emerged from Labour, okay. but Labour said no. Oh, they, okay. they want to own their party. So he has moved to Zenith Labour Party. Wow. So he has emerged at Zenith Labour Party, now, which means he, actually, he has actually emerged twice. Okay. Both in Labour and, and Zenith, Zenith Labour. So, as a presidential. so they are all emerging. So 2019 <laughs> is going to be very interesting. Uh, we are having presidential <laughs> candidates already emerging and all that. Mm. And um, look, Majid, it, it, it's a serious affair, especially mm. to those uh, parties and candidates yes. that are in it. Um, and it, it can be belittled. They, must, they, 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 they have their rights. They have their rights to uh, exposure. Uh, no doubt. Yes, there's a, there's a time when money takes over, mm -hmm. and that would be beyond your normal right, which yeah. often, you know, uh, is not uh, uh, as the as the person might want it. Mm -hmm. A person might want much, much more mm -hmm. than it, depending on how large your war yeah, chest is. But right. um, look, <laughs> these are also Nigerians who are coming out to serve, mm -hmm. uh, to to offer their service, yeah. and they must be taken seriously, right? But That's it just right. depends on. How many people take them seriously? And that's where mm. democracy is mm. a beauty. Yeah. You might say that this is the most wonderful idea, but uh, it's about how many people are ready to key into it. Yeah. Uh, that, that then yeah, I, uh, I've, 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 I've been observing politics. I've been a stakeholder in, in party politics, so I understand what it takes. You see, beyond, beyond imagine as a candidate, we have 774 local governments. Mm -hmm. In Lagos, for example, there are, like I said, there are, I think, uh, 400 and, uh, 477 wards. And each of those wards, there are between 10 and uh, 20 polling units. Mm. So in Lagos State, you are looking at about 40 something, maybe between 20 something thousand polling units. Uh -huh. And in each of those polling units, you need at least a party agent yeah. and a canvasser on election day. Yes, right. So if you now multiply that, in Ekiti, for example, it's 2,109 polling units. You need two, two agents, mm. and it's not for free. So in you, so you, the point you're making is that you must have a very solid financial structure. structure. Solid structure. 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 If, solid if you intend structure. to be taken seriously. Serious. Yes. Don't just in Oshun, serious, yeah. 3,200 yeah. polling units. Mm. So before you even start, you need Three thousand, we need six thousand four hundred people on election day that will be your eye in those polling units. Mm -hmm. So you are talking about thirty-six states. So oh, it's not a tea party. Yeah, it is not a tea Nigeria party. Is, so is large. When, when Nigeria is so large, mm -hmm. Kingsley Mogalu is going to emerge as one of the presidential yeah. candidates. But then, and Shawore and and Shawore will emerge. But Fela. beyond mm -hmm. beyond Twitter mm -hmm. and Facebook, yeah. elections are won on the field. Yeah. It's not on Twitter. That's right. I so mean, that, like, that, like that's something that needs to be borne in mind. No, these are, no, these yes, are no, they, the they are clear, they are clear realities. When people begin to cry and foul. I wonder they whether they know realities. these things. I don't know whether they know these things or they take this issue of coming for for elective office, you know, as something that is like a comedy. You know, when somebody says I'm a presidential candidate, I look at him. He can't even <laughs> win in his own. I'm not talking about what. They don't even know him. About in Does he even know his what? In his polling unit. Polling unit. He cannot win in your polling unit. You say you want to be a presidential candidate for which country? So I don't know whether you take this in serious or not. For us, in 2019, we need men and women who are serious. I agree with this issue of not too young to run. 
Are you following me? I totally agree with it because that is what what is actually obtainable all over the world mm -hmm. now. Where the young men are the one mm -hmm. determining the, the the direction, the mm -hmm. the policy destiny of their countries. You know. Our young men should enter into politics, but they must, we must be serious about these Indeed. things. Let's not take it as something that is a joke. You know, I want to be a president. You cannot even guarantee winning in your polling unit. I, I don't because think. You're not known. Yes, because you're publicity not known. It costs money. Yeah, it costs and money. You need, to, you need to have structure. Of what the structure. is the structure have you mm. created in all mm. these places? You know? And, 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 that's and on he the has one mentioned hand. it 36 states, yes. for God's sake, uh, if, including if, Abuja. If, if you say yes. you endorse, you, you, you're a supporter of the concept of not too young to yeah. run, yes. the concept of not too old to run, yes. Not to, in fact, too old to run. <laughs> if, if, we, if we say not too young to run, which means you're allowing the young ones to yes. run, then now, you now, now say old ones too old to run. That we should pass a bill like that. Uh, wait, that you, is, know, you that understand is, me? That is a discrimination. You cannot appropriate and reprobate. But it's a form of discrimination. It's not. Ageism. Ageism. But why would you now say not too young to run? Which means we're encouraging young ones. Look, allowing the old men now to have the watches. It's not only old people that voted for Jeremiah Zemi. Exactly. Now, even the young boys. Even the young boys. But then Jerry will tell you, they call him Jerry Boy. Jerry Boy. Yeah, yeah, of course. You know, he's a boy. He has always been a boy. So, surprising that he emerged. It's going to be interesting if he eventually contests as a gubernatorial candidate of, you know. Indeed. Whether it's a joke, whether it's a factional leader. I mean, gubernatorial candidate. Indeed. Let's know how he plays. But, but the, to the point, to this point that both you gentlemen are making, mm. the late Chief Ghani me, yes. you know, you know, he, he went to court to guarantee everybody, no matter how ludicrous in the eyes, yeah, of, eyes others, of others. Yeah, yeah. But if you think you have a viable chance, yeah. then INEC has no choice but to register you. But you. Yeah. everything that you've been speak, speaking about yeah, now yeah. kicks in. Yeah. And that's where... Uh, well, I, I don't know. It's, no, it's, no, that's, that's where the reality sets in. I mean, if... I mean, I have taking part as a grassroots yeah, person, so I understand so. what it the takes. So, so, so maybe so we have to bear in mind uh, what you are saying, mm -hmm. but as to people, I don't want to even comment on what they were thinking, but when people float their parties and yes. say, we want to serve, yes. don't, it's like what Chief Garnifayami was saying that, let it be. You know what? Let the people themselves tell them that the, you, you, don't, you don't have enough the, of us sir, to energize your where vision. Where are those such parties you know, does, you know, such party do exist, does exist. You know what they do? They can concentrate on one area. It may be, a, listen, fan, fan, either, fan, either, fan, either fan, they are local fan, government, fan, you know, they, have, they, don't, you know they don't come and field candidate for presidential. No, in, in, yes. Where you don't have any structure beyond uh, even your uh, uh, That's how it is. Yes. You know, in, you can, you in can in expand. Scotland, yes. It, 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 a 19 year old yes. undergraduate yes. defeated a yes. serving MP. In yes. Scotland. Yes, Scotland. Yes, Scotland. It's possible. Because yes, constant, in they know the area of strength. Yes. Are you following me, sir? And then they have their structure in that environment and they have a manifesto and they have an ideology. And that ideology may be bought by those within their, their jurisdiction. So you can sell your candidate within their jurisdiction. But don't come and claim national outlook no, okay. when you have nothing to show for it. That is what we're saying. A lot of them are playing. All these ones. I saw my friends who called me. They want to run for presidential. I first of all chuckle. I said, what is? And they tell you I will win. I, said, I don't know. What is that? They give them injection. I don't understand. You know, when somebody just wakes up and says, I'm going to win. And you know, there is no structure on ground. You don't. Ha, okay. Oh, no. Uh, it's uh, not uh, a joking uh, matter. Uh, uh, thank you say. very much, gentlemen. We've mm. got to leave it here mm. now. Uh, um, you know, uh, Lagos is one of the states where, they pro in fact, I think, is it the only state today where... No, Abia, uh, Abia is also, Abia is also going there, yeah, Abia is also going. So we'll, and I think Adama even, even in Imo is also going there. Adama, 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 Adama we'll have cameras yeah. at those places yeah. for yeah. sure. Yeah. Uh, we spoke with, uh, uh, with uh, Ayo Zubaku, where we know that in the case of uh, Lagos here, at 12 noon, that's the, uh, you know, time that's been designated election when week, yeah. we'll now switch to election mode. Right that's now, right. accreditation right. mode is just the one cue. That's right. You know, so, uh, but thank you very much, gentlemen. We'll pick up on this um, tomorrow um, on our program. Please join us then. I'm Yori Fulani. Bye-bye for now. Okay.